represent House District 85. Freedom of religion is an American value that is protected by the First Amendment. It allows all of us the freedom to believe or not as we see fit, but it does not allow us to use religion as an excuse to harm or take away the rights of others. House Bill 757 includes provisions of both a RIFRA and a FADA. Both of these bills explicitly permit discrimination. The RIFRA section of the bill proponents claim is needed because religious freedom in Georgia is in danger. This is a false claim. Georgia has gone its entire history without a RIFRA and has managed just fine since the U.S. Supreme Court issued its decision in Employment versus Smith, which control, controls cases brought under the U.S. Constitution's Free Exercise Clause. Of course, Georgia also has its own religious freedom protections under its states, under its state constitution as well. When pushed for evidence of a need for a state RIFRA, proponents recite 22 cases. But these cases, which are compiled <coughs> on the blog post titled, Religious Discrimination, the Least Protected Class, fail to demonstrate a need for a state RIFRA. Instead, all 22 incidents catalog were resolved or are currently being litigated without a RIFRA. Of those resolved, nearly all were resolved in favor of the plaintiff who claimed a religious freedom violation. The list therefore is evidence that a state RIFRA is not needed in Georgia. The FADA section of the bill grants individuals and religious organizations that hold <coughs> religious beliefs a blanket exemption to all laws that conflict with their religious beliefs. These organizations can take state, local, and federal funds to provide services to the public and then use a religious litmus test to determine whom they will and will not serve. I've heard already by proponents of the measure that the bill has not gone far enough. From my perspective, when we allow discrimination in any form, we can no longer call ourselves free because some of us are not. Freedom is an all or nothing principle. There are no shades of liberty. Let me conclude by saying that whether you believe that damage to the state is real or just a perception, three years of inflammatory debate has negatively impacted Georgia's brand. And I respectfully call on the governor to veto this bill. Thank you.